These are exciting times to be a forest owner in Ireland. As our farm forest resource expands and develops, sustainable management of your timber crop will pay dividends, allowing you to optimise your forest potential from an economic, environmental and social perspective. Timber harvesting is now a familiar activity. Many plantations are being thinned to meet a growing demand from timber markets. As conifer forests rapidly grow, branches from adjoining trees grow towards each other and meet, thereby impeding access through the forest. Inspection paths are the solution for lack of access at this stage. Once your plantation has closed in, normally when it is between 10 to 14 years of age, adjoining branches form a strong barrier to gain access into conifer crops such as spruce. An accurate forest assessment cannot be made from the outside. You can see, Jody here that this crop has closed in. Access has become very difficult. That is why we need to install inspection paths in order to be able to assess and manage this crop. Once inspection paths are in place, Jody can easily get through his forest, allowing him to assess his timber crop and plan for its future management. Now that we have this inspection pad cut, Jody, we will be able to assess the quality and the progress of this crop. It will en enable us to assess the suitability for thinning, the predicted age of first thinning, and we can measure the crop in terms of its future yield. Installing inspection paths enable you and your forestry professional to monitor the progress of your forest. Inside the forest, Jody and Chagas advisor Tom Houlihan are assessing the forest and measuring sample trees along the inspection path. This will give a good indication of tree stocking levels, tree size and timber volume. Jody can now make informed decisions on forest thinning and plan for future harvesting. Inspection paths also facilitate planning of forest roads where required and provide access for timber buyers to view your forest. Cutting inspection paths does not require the felling of any trees. Just remove the lower side branches up to head height between two adjacent lines of trees, following the direction of cultivation where possible. The handheld pruning saw is very sharp and cuts on the pulling stroke giving you the clean cut required. Avoid damage to the bark of the trees during cutting. It is preferable not to leave a peg on the stem which will eventually form a dead knot in the timber. If using a handheld saw you will need a good quality pruning saw, a safety helmet with visor, protective gloves and a first aid kit. If using a chainsaw Safety is key. No matter how small the job, operators should have appropriate chainsaw training, a full set of personal protective equipment, a fully functioning, well-maintained chainsaw, and full and appropriate insurance cover. Keeping safety in mind, a chainsaw can also be used to efficiently cut inspection paths in your forest. Arthur Cairns, Chagas Forestry Technician Bally Hayes, employs a safe and efficient technique for cutting inspection paths using a chainsaw. He begins by cutting the right hand side of the inspection path along one line of trees and will subsequently complete the inspection path by returning on the adjacent line. The body of the saw is never lifted above shoulder height. Arthur now returns on the adjacent line of trees removing the branches in a similar safe manner. The removal of these branches growing towards the previous line completes the inspection path in a relatively short period of time. When removing branches using a chainsaw, it is acceptable to leave short pegs along the stem. Branches are cut downwards along the stem to help minimise the risk of kickback or chain slippage off the guide bar. The layout of inspection paths should be planned in advance to optimise their effectiveness and marked on a forest map. Parallel paths should be cut 50 to 100 metres apart depending on the size of the plantation. For larger areas, paths should be cut 100 metres apart and should link up to ensure full and efficient plantation access.
In some situations, a compass may be required to maintain a straight inspection path through the forest. In summary, cutting of inspection paths is an essential operation in conifer crops. Once completed, inspection paths provide clear and easy access into and through the forest so that growth can be monitored, the timber crop assessed and provision made for timber harvesting and marketing. Now that inspection paths are in place, informed decisions can be made on future management of the forest. This puts you in a strong position to sustainably manage and optimise this valuable resource. <laughs>